Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the third problem on the quiz. In this problem, we're asked which of the following functions could be moment generating functions. The first function is m of x of t is 1 minus 2t to the negative 3 halves power. The next moment generating function is e to the t over 1 minus t. And the third potential moment generating function is 2 over 1 minus 3t. Now, Let's recall the definition of the moment generating function. So we recall that the moment generating function of a random variable x as a function of t is the exponential of t times x. And we do the expected value of this. So the expected value of the exponential of t times x. So in particular, we can note that mx of 0 is the expected value of the exponential of 0 times x, which is just 1. So this will be just equal to 1. So the moment generating function at 0 is always equal to 1. So in particular, if we look at problem, if we look at the third function over here, the third function over here, mx of 0 for this function, is equal to 2. And therefore, this implies that 3 is not a moment generating function. If I plug in 0 to either 1 or 2, we get 1. And so those are still possible. Now, we can note that let's consider some special random variables. If we consider the trivial at the exponential random variable, the PDF of this is going to be e to the negative x for x positive. And so if we define the moment generating function of this, so mx of t, that would be the expected value of the exponential of t times x, which would be the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the t times x times e to the negative x dx. And what this will simplify to is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the x, and then we'll have a, let's leave this as e to the negative x, and then I'll have a 1 minus t dx. And so if we integrate this, we'll see this is equal to 1 over 1 minus t. So 1 over 1 minus t is the moment generating function for this random variable. And this e to the t is the mgf for the delta distribution. So if I have a, the sum of a delta distribution and an exponential random variable, then this will be the moment generating function. So in fact, 2 is a valid moment generating function. So this indeed is a moment generating function. In particular, what it is, it's the product of two moment generating functions. So if I have the delta distribution plus an exponential distribution, and these were independent, this random variable would have this moment generating function. Now, if we look at this other one over here, it turns out that number one is indeed a moment generating function. So this is a moment generating function. And so one is the MGF of a chi squared distribution with three degrees of freedom. In particular, what you can show is you can show that, remember that a chi squared with three degrees of freedom is the sum of three independent copies of squares of normal random variables. So in particular, you can check that this function, 1 minus 2t to the negative 3 halves power, is what you'll get if you, if you take those, the sum of those random variables and then you multiply the corresponding um, PDFs or moment generating functions for the single chi squared with one degree of freedom. So we see that one and two are valid MGFs, so one and two is your solution. Thank you very much.